All right, guys, let's switch it up. Talk some baseball. Yesterday, again, the Guardians with another close loss. They, yeah. They've been terrible in these. What is their record overall in the one-run game? Do you know it offhand, Mike? I know they've lost 17. Well, that doesn't tell us anything. What kind of stat is that? Well, they've lost 30-something games and 17 Half of have them been one I mean, but, they, but have they won 20 or they won 10? That's a big difference. I was just saying, I don't know the number off the top uh, of my head. I just know they've lost stat. 17. So you I'll have dropped the ball as producer today. I'll, I'll, get it, I'll, I'll get the staff, but no. It's 17 one-run lo- one loss games, which is the most in Major League Baseball. So All right. I'll find but, how many they've won. But again, if they're 20 and 17 in one-run games, it's not that bad. I if will they're find, 10 and 17, it's terrible. I will find the other half of that equation, but as you alluded to, they have been terrible in close games, and to lose 17 of their 30, 31 losses, 33 losses, it's over 50% have been – one they, run games. They blew a lead again. They had a two nothing lead. Uh, Bieber got in trouble in the sixth, uh, and then in the eighth inning, they had De Los Santos in there, and and he just got he been getting hit up. lately. <laughs> he been getting touched. <laughs> yeah, he been getting hit touched lately. He gave up some hits a, a couple weeks ago. I got a question for you. Two boy. hits, two walks, faced four batters, didn't get anybody out. I got a, I got a question that's unrelated to the game from yesterday. Yeah, dude, could you consider McKenzie as an ace? If he continues to play the way he do, I consider who an ace McKenzie. Uh, no, not yet, but I think he has the potential to be an ace. So yes. if they, because obviously they, the Bieber trade is starting to heat up. If they get rid of Bieber, who would you consider the ace of this team? Yeah, I mean, he'd be your number one starter. Okay, you know, not every team has an ace necessarily. Okay. I mean, like everybody's got you got to have a number one. You know, so like he'd be your number one starter. It if you were. If you traded Bieber and you started a playoff series, you'd go with McKenzie in game mm. one. But but not every team has an ace. There are not 32 aces in baseball. Some teams have more than one ace, but many teams have none. Uh, Tristan McKenzie has to show greatness for more time. Like, he was really, really good last year. He was mm. excellent. Yeah. And, and he was excellent in his first start coming off the injured list. Um, when was it? Saturday? Sunday? Friday? I can't remember the day now. Sunday, I think. Was it Sunday that McKenzie pitched? McKenzie pitched Sunday, correct. Right. Um, if he pitches like he did last year for the rest of the season, two years in, then I'm ready to call him an ace going into year three. But yeah. he's got to do it for two years so, at least. So who would you who would you say is number two then? Behind him? Yeah. Bybee Allen. I, I would say. I mean, if, at the moment, if Bieber were gone, yeah. And you asked me, okay, I got to play a playoff series tomorrow. <laughs> yep. What's your starting rotation? I'd pitch Tristan McKenzie in game one. I'd pitch, I'd pitch Bybee in game two. And I'd pitch Logan Allen in game three. Okay. The problem is those guys have barely pitched in the majors. That's what That's I was a, about to say. Now, there's a lot of talent. Tristan McKenzie is a through-the-roof talent. Yeah. So is Tanner Bybee. Logan Allen, not quite as talented as those two guys, but still good. Um, but is a lot of inexperience. I mean, McKenzie did get some playoff experience last year. Obviously, the other two guys don't have any uh, Bieber pitched pretty well yesterday. <laughs> yeah, look at him. What, 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 what is wrong with what? you? What are you shaking your head about? Man, it's just, you don't want them to trade what is Bieber? What's wrong with you? Man, it's just, bro, like, man, it, it, like, it gets tiring. It's just tiring when you talk about their philosophy, man. Like, either y'all going to – like, at least, you, at least you'll say it, bro. But, like, I think the Indians is like a shelter. It's a self safe haven where people can go just go in a corner and – and just enjoy life like like there's no expectations there's none of that like obviously if you have young players they're better than what you have now i'm tired of seeing old bums play and every single week is oh well, well it's still early it's still no they're not contending this is what it is. They have no sticks. They lose run run games. And at least before you can hang your hat on the fact that they had a top flight pitching staff. They don't even have really have a top flight pitching staff. They got one or two guys, as you just stated. Uh, Allen, uh, you know, they, they keep talking about Gavin Williams gets more run in people's, you know, in, in people's vocabulary than the dudes they got up here now. The, like the police acts and well, Savalis and the, and the Quantrills. I, I agree with some of what you're saying. Not all of it. I mean, some guys, you know, it does take time to be ready. Now, Bo Naylor's ready. He should be playing. we got to stop using Ahmed Reserve. I, and I'm, I've said this five times. I don't know what they're doing. I don't understand why Bo Naylor's not in the majors. And yes, they, put him on, they put him on a roster I, last year for the playoffs. The, the Guardians do often get a pass from fans and media because – they have ultimately had a lot of success. Now, they haven't won a championship, and that's all that matters in the end. 
It's been the best organization. It's been the most consistently relevant organization. But they do get a pass when they have... A lot of people give them a pass for their shitty payroll <laughs> and for not calling guys up to the majors because we have a lot of respect for the guys who run the Guardians. Their front office is excellent and their manager is excellent. So some people are afraid to criticize. I'm not. Uh, I'll criticize Frank Kona when it's due. The Guardians screwed up. They should have used some of their prospect depth to trade for a catcher. They didn't do it. The Zanino contract is a disaster. A disaster strong because it's a one-year deal. The Josh Bell contract is really bad. They're not hit, and, and the criticism is fair. Now, Gavin Williams, you know, the guy's still really young. He's got to pitch a lot. I, I'm okay with him not being up yet. I'm cool with that. But the rest, there's no excuse for Bo Naylor being in the minors. There's no excuse for this glut of minor league talent and you don't not allowing them. you to trade for quality <laughs> veterans. That's what I get. Their you... power is embarrassingly bad. <laughs> you dare not. They're, they are a contender only because the division is so Thank awful. You. Thank you. But is it, are they really like we give them so much credit for being a, the farm system and they're the best yeah. run? But ask yourself, who in the playoffs have they really, really, <laughs> really beat? Uh, well, they did. I mean, in 2016, but since so that, then, no. okay, since 16. Who have like like Nothing since 16. they haven't been like in in this and I and I could I mean, you beat Tampa Bay last year. Tampa okay. Bay's a good team. That, okay, you know, that was good, but that's it since 2016. That, that's it. So my yeah. thing is, I could <laughs> I could talk myself into feeling good about being in contention. They're always in contention. They're here. Baseball, anything can happen. Well, actually, no, not a bit. Like, no, that's not actually factual. Like. With this amount of, of non hitters on a yeah, roster, they can't win. They're not, it they has never win. happened they're in not, baseball. They're not going to win in the playoffs the way they're currently constituted. Their pitching is not good. It's <coughs> good. It's not good enough to overcome how bad the hitting is. They won't win. They're not winning anything this year. They could win the division. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if they do, but they'll very likely lose early in the playoffs because they're just not a very good team. That, that's it. Whoever wins the Central is likely to go out in the first round because they're not very good. Now, could they get aggressive, make some big trades? You're talking about getting Otani. No. They're not going to get Otani. <laughs> it's not even worth discussing. Not even out here. Let uh, I me mean, look at this. So the Twins are in first place. They're one game over 500. I mean, it's just uh, disgusting. It, it, it's it's because we but go, uh, the Guardians are not a good baseball team. It's, can it's I that ask simple. Question, no, no, no. Yeah. I mean, Wait, nothing's you, talked you, about Lindor, right? You said you said Lindor is having. Well, a, uh, can we save Lindor for one sec? I just got a question before yeah. we get to Lindor because it plays off what he just said. How is one division in baseball so bad? Like, how is it that at any point in any season, five teams in the same division are all just bad at well, once? Well, it's not just that division. It's the National League Central, too. And the reason it's so noticeable. But the National is, League has two teams at least five games over 500. Yeah, but they're not the national. It's it's a bad division also. Not I'm, quite I'm not as bad as the American I just League Central, mean, but in general. How, and you could even keep the NFL. Well, Central this is in. why it's more noticeable this year, is is because they changed the schedule this year to a balanced schedule. So the Guardians and the Twins don't get to play the Royals and the Tigers 18 times. They only play in them 12 times. That's a big difference. That's 12 games that they're playing a better opponent. You know, and so now that it's balanced, you're seeing the dominant. Now, in general, the East Coast and West Coast teams spend more and have higher payrolls than mm -hmm. the, than the the teams in you know in the Central divisions. Uh, but even the teams in the Central that tr have spent money over the years, like the White Sox, the Cubs, the Cardinals, and uh, Brewers, and, a little bit. Well, the Brewers, not really, not like those other teams. Well, the Cubs and Cardinals have spent, and the Tigers spent. But right now the Cubs are, are, you know, their payroll's okay, but they're not very good. They're they've been rebuilding. They suck. <clears throat> the Cardinals having a bad season, and they got they don't have a lot of pitching. The Tigers are in the middle of like a eight year rebuild, and so and the White Sox have spent, but they're just they just have I, I can't explain with that team. They have bad defense and bad chemistry, and it just hasn't worked out with all these young players they have. Now they're going to sell again and start over again. So. You know, the Twins have committed to spending money. They've spent a lot of money here, but they're not that good either. So I guess I guess that's that's the thing. And, and, and let's be clear. That is a, a very sound business practice. It, and I think sometimes people don't look at it like this. I really believe that these teams, especially in Major League Baseball, they look at this as a business. They don't look at it as our main objective is to win. They, they'll, they'll put some stuff forward 
if all <laughs> conditions are equal, if 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 we got a, a, a season we didn't think we have, we'll put something behind. Yeah. If we get hot, we'll put a little something on, on, on the books. But so Jitter- Dolan is not committed to winning. Yeah, yeah no, he he's not, not committed to winning. He's not all in on winning. Uh, they obviously every team wants to win. Every yes. owner wants to win, but not at any price. Like he's not. That's that's not what. The, no, there's no reason that the Guardians shouldn't have fifty million dollars more in their payroll minimum. It's fifty million dollars. And think about how much better they'd be if they had fifty million more in the payroll. It, I looked at, and, and I had to go back yesterday. We was with Jason Lloyd. I had to go back and look, and, and, and I crushed them a couple of years ago. But you go back and look at how many home runs these guys hit. I mean, these guys yeah. are just these, 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 these aren't like all stars or anything. Guys were hit 20 some home runs.